Greetings, homeschoolers. Jeremy Lyon here, all the way from outer space. <laughs> and do you know what kids always ask? How do astronauts go to the toilet in space? Well, I've got a little song that should answer that question for you. This is just a bit of fun for a Friday. <laughs> here we go. Now, Anthony the astronaut was hurtling through space when he got that funny feeling. He got that look upon his face. He said, oh, I need to go. I have to go. By golly, I need to soon. But how do you do your business on the moon? Well, let's find out. For the outdoor space explorer, good old nappies won the day. Liquids, pus and sweated waste can simply flow away into pads inside the gusset through which urine cannot pass. Liquid foulage can be sprayed outside. It turns into a gas. You're with me so far. Solid waste is problematic as it can't be left in space and after defecation the astronaut must recover all his waste. The stools are then transferred into a tightly sealed pouch which is massaged with bactericide to bleach the toxins out. Okay. When inside a spaceship there is little room for failure so a suction cup upon a hose is fastened to the genitalia. The urine is then sprayed into a filter covered sump and recycled back to water through a solar driven pump. Oh God. For passing solid excrement there are foot straps by the seat to anchor down the sphincter as the astronaut excretes. A powerful fan extracts the faeces to a separate slurry trunk which is manually compacted once the larger stools have sunk. Cleaning of the anus is painstaking when in space. Any trace of fecal matter must be carefully erased. Floating sewage pellets might be mistakenly inhaled. So soiled toilet paper is compressed to airtight bales. So there you go, now you know, thanks to this jolly tune, how you do your business on the moon. There we go, as I say, Jesus, just, uh, just, just a bit of fun. <laughs> If I if I did it again, I'd I'd keep it in one key and possibly dial down on the detail a bit. But you know, it's, it's educational. Oh.